My next adventure is in Uganda. It's technically called the, South, uh, the Republic of Uganda. It's a landlocked country in East Africa. It is bordered by uh, Kenya to the east, north by South Sudan. West is the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the southwest is Rwanda, and the south is Tanzania, where Mount Kilimanjaro is located. Um, it is, uh, the country sits in an average of like 900 meters above sea level, and it contains the Ruanzori mountain range, um, the highest peak in Uganda, and it measures about 5,094 meters. The southern part of Uganda consists of lakes, and a substantial portion of it is called Lake Victoria, and it's shared between Kenya and uh, Tanzania. The name Uganda is named after the Buganda Kingdom, uh, which encompasses a portion of the country, including the capital uh, Kampala. Beginning in 1894, the area was ruled in under the United Kingdom, and they gained the independence from UK on October 9, 1962. The official languages are English and Swahili, although there are any other languages that are used um, in the country as well. Uganda has 60 protected areas, including the 10 national parks, uh, Buwindi Impenetrable National Forest, Ruanzori Mountain National Park, which is considered a uh, World Heritage Site, Kibali, Kidepo, Lake Miburo, Mahinga Gorilla National Forest, the Mount Elgon National Park, Murchison Falls, Queen Elizabeth, and Simoliki um, National Park. Uganda is home to a vast number of species, including the mountain gorillas, and they're protected. Uh, they also have golden monkeys uh, and hippos and many more. The mountain gorillas are protected 24-7. Um, they're actually, they hire guides 24-7 just to watch them against poachers. You should go, it's worth the visit. So visited the Biwandi Impenetrable National Forest, um, as soon as you get there, uh, there are guides that they assign to you uh, so that you are safe in the area and that if you uh, want to see the family of gorillas, they actually have their own guides 24-7. Uh, so there'll be instances where you don't see them, which is totally fine because at least you're able to help or think of the positive, be optimistic. At least you're able to help the guides uh, well-being so they can continue to watch or guide these mountain gorillas against poachers. I hope you'll enjoy, hope you'll enjoy the highlights of this trip and that it's worth the visit.
I'll see you guys in the next adventure.